I was just, uh, you know, reading an article the other day, and it was saying that it was only in 1995 that uh, China publicly started to publish on the headlines of magazines, for example, just like headlines of the career woman. Mm. Yes. 1995. Yes. Yes. That's yes. not too long ago when it was suddenly... You know, it's okay to be a career uh, mm. uh, lady w uh, mm. and, and then not just mm. a mother at home mm. washing dishes, and that's your role mm. of a maternalistic. True. You know, this is a yeah. it's a more male dominated yeah, community. I think it's all, society, yeah, also so. the, you know the the way it was Culture. before. You know, everybody yeah. is equal. Yeah. You know, I don't serve you, you don't serve, serve me, me because we are all equal. Yeah. So that's why we see it in the hotel that. Uh, 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 our Chinese staff, you know, um, a waitress, for example, our hostess, she will be serving to a Lawai, a foreigner. Yeah. She'll be smiling and how are I you? Sir? And the it. minute she turned and it's a local, I said, yeah. Mm. Then we, yeah, then, then we go, why? You are the best staff that we have and you won awards. You know, yeah. why do you, you behave? Says, yeah. But why should I serve? She's, he's Chinese, Chinese, so we are, the, we are equal. So, so we don't have to be so yeah. tortious to right. them. So this is the, the old days, you know, oh. but now it's, it's fantastic. Now yeah, it's, they, it's they're totally beginning to see that. Yeah. Now, like, don't you, what was it like, um, was it you, Bobby, who told me that the, in 2015, um, one of the tourism yes. conferences yes. that you went to, they're forecasting that the biggest numbers of tourists in the world yeah. will be is going Chinese. to be Chinese. Yes. Everybody you know, has to be Already prepared. Malaysia That's sees it. Five years a, away. Yes, I, I mean, now, Everywhere Many countries, you see, every yeah. country is seeing, seeing the growth of the Chinese travelers. Yeah. And now with with cable TV, with uh, internet, mm. you know they, and you know domestic tourism, they've gone everywhere, and it's it's not it's not cheap to go to travel domestically. You're right. You. It's, it's not. True. It's really yeah. not as cheap as I thought. Yes, and, and you know, you know it, and and I think um, I mean there's things that we see. We think China China has it, and sometimes Malaysia doesn't yeah. have it. Like the lift we, we came in from. Uh, <laughs> yeah, your I've lift, never seen um, that. I'm exactly. like, what do I do? What am I? Supposed we said this is something we've got to talk about. <laughs> I mean, we came and we all walked into the lift, and then the guy in the, already in the lift. Excuse me, you need to press the button outside. outside. He was going to another <laughs> floor, and that was the lift. And he was helping you because you no, would have so been we going. No, so we went. So we went to. And he outside you need to press the button so we pressed the button 10 and then there was an arrow that shows which lift to go to yes and then we walked into the lift and one of us wanted to press the button and we realized nope this is automatic <laughs> we've already pressed the yes. said, oh my goodness this is high tech, high tech. Yeah. yeah yeah and, and well, well now th are there hotels that are already a lot more high tech than many other countries they're yes. green mm -hmm. they're very clean and environmentally friendly yes and it's a hip thing here i mean it, they're they're just surpassing a lot of countries oh, yeah. Luxury items. It's mm. it's it's completely accessible to any and other Chinese people now. now. Yeah. It's common, right? And in the right. old days, when in the nineties, when we were here, you know, <laughs> the brand brand that is the most popular brand it's was Pierre Cardin. Pierre Cardin. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 was the first one who came. Yeah. Really? A, so a yeah, and, and then if you can afford this, you have to show off. Yes. Right. But, but tell me about like how the difference between their pays and how they were uh, uh, they they able to save the money to buy a Pierre Cardin tie that cost ten times their salary. So. Give me an example. A uh, a uh, regular wage for uh, a regular hotel staff at that time was maybe five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred. Eighty dollars. Yeah. Eighty, 80, 80, 80 dollars, dollars a month. And how much is a pair card 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 on? Maybe hundred dollars. Hundred US. Hundred US. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's more than a month's salary, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there, yeah, and and the funny thing is also because Pierre Cardin was famous at that time. So in the yeah. Silk Alley, they have all. Copies, fakes, fake Pierre Cardin. Fakes, right? Everywhere was Pierre Cardin. Right. Tie, belts, and even jackets with the label outside. on the outside. <laughs> Just so you wear Pierre it on Cardin. the outside so you can show off. That like, I have got a Pierre Cardin. <laughs> so if you, if you wear this in the city of, okay, let's say a, a migrant from another city buys yeah. this and goes back and say to his, to, his, his, to his village and say, look, I've got a Pierre Cardin. Oh. Uh, <laughs> So nobody would know it's a yeah. fake. Right, you know? they would know, yeah. yeah so, no, but at, at that time, I think the European brands were coming really strongly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I remember I used to, when, because we wear tie to work, right? Mm -hmm. And the minute we walk, and then instead of saying, oh my God, your tie is really nice, my, my colleague will come and say, oh, your tie is very nice, and flip. And they'll oh. look at each other's tie, and the guys will look at the tie. They will flip to see, to see what brand. Is it good it is, or bad? <laughs> to see, no, to see what brand, brand it, it is. is. Yeah, then it's good. Yeah, and then you look at it and it's, say, oh, Ralph Lauren, nope, I never heard it's not good. I'm it, like, it, 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 so when we yeah, travel to like the it. US, uh -huh. I will not buy all this branded stuff because they, they, they don't know.
Right. <laughs> right. But right. if you it's go to so Europe, funny. then it's okay. You know, you can yeah. buy anything that's f European name and it's good at the time. Oh, so, wow. so Europe is luxury. Mm. Europe is luxury. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. Which is still the case today, yes, I yes, guess. And like then just talk about like how couture they are and right. they're mature they are about their fashion mm. sense of. Mm. Um, but now the the demand for luxury items is always changing. changing right? yeah. Like now, I mean, before they can afford clothes, so they can show, they can do this and all those. Then the phones. Yeah. Now they are buying cars, cars. and, and travel, huh? yeah, travel. Travel. Traveling, Traveling, right? Yeah. And houses, multiple houses. Yeah.